Hey, basket makers. How y'all doing today? Okay, so didn't get back yesterday because your girl was out in them streets trying to get some of them Dollar General 25 cent. Late to the game. Late to the game. I mean, everywhere I went, y'all. <sighs> no, this is not on the list. And they were not willing to. And it was stuff clearly that had Christmas trees on it, decorated with ornaments and everything, like some soaps and some little hand soaps and stuff like that. See, that's kind of stuff I go ahead and collect for Christmas when I do Christmas. So it's like, what? Y'all working against the girl this year. What's going on? So, yes, I didn't get in until like 11 o'clock. Plus, I was on the hunt for bears because I needed some more bears because I had pretty much sold all of that um, pink bear and blue bear. I had out sold them. They was, um, I was down to two because I had already sold, pre-sold six. So, I know going into, like I said, going into the mall, I still need at least my eight. So, your girl was on the hunt yesterday trying to find her some so I can go ahead and recreate that gift basket so it can be ready to go into the mall. <sighs> yeah. Then I was out hitting, some, I was at the same time hitting some Dollar Trees because this video, you guys, is going to be about um, the robes, the Bath and Body Works robes that I like to do. Remember, I do the same amount of Victoria's Secret robes and I do the same, you know, as Bath and Body Works. So I do six. I chose to do, uh, broke them up and did like two green, two blue, and I'm doing two pink. And pretty much each of them are going to be made different ways. Again, I'm trying to work with a lot of my loose. But I also wanted to be able to show you guys how um, I utilize using the inexpensive gifts. Like Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, Dollar, uh, Dollar General, you know, merchandise. And incorporate it into my displays when i'm when i talk about doing a front and a back of a basket so i'm gonna show you this green one i really wanted to use the green one to show you and i was going to build a green build a pink and i was going to build a blue because those are even though they're all rows the back sides are all going to be a little different okay now if but because of today i might be able to get to it so let's go Okay, uh, so the first one I'm going to go ahead and show you. The green one I'm going to have to show you completed because what your girl is on the hunt for is these mint green house shoes. They go perfect. These are little thin ones from Dollar Tree. They go perfect in this concept. Um, what I did was this is the back side. I did the pedicure foot set. I did a little tea light candle this is a long handle brush now you can also stand it and that creates more height because it do on the front kind of look cut off so i might pull that out on the second one and just um have it standing beside it uh which will give it more height too you got your slippers now this is um i did i do this in um inexpensive concept the bath salts so I took the clear one and added it here. And let me see. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. That's these bowls. And then I give me a pack of the scoops and you break it up. So that's what's right here. So I have the bowl sitting up. That's why I like those boxes. I got the foot soak in it. I took a piece of uh, tissue paper and then put some shreds on top. And then I stuck my foot soak in there. So the back is all about the feet. Um, I did, I went ahead right here on this side it was really empty to me. So I put a pair of fuzzy socks, but you could use something different. And 
And that something different could be, you could do some bath bombs with your tie-in, with your foot soap. But what I think I'm going to end up going to do is get me a little trio or two-pack of um, nail polish. Okay? And then I'm going to use a piece of cello and I'm going to twist it like a lollipop. And I'm going to lay that right there. Or, if you want it, see how it adds that color plus it gives definition to that so that's what i wanted to show you this is the one i really wanted to build for you so you can see all oh, how i brought the concept together and then this is the front this is a pair of the petty uh petty slippers these come in a two pack i always open mine up and break them up and do one and one this is like a little body scrubber you know the ones that go out and go across your back I want to say I got those from Big Lots one year, but I have seen them at Dollar Tree now. So, again, that's another item. I did the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Bubble Bath. You got your robe. You got your body oil spray. And then with this one, I just took two flowers and doubled them up over here because it was still... The big one that I had was too big. So, I just took two, added it together. Now, this one, you know, this robe comes, these robes, these are from Family Dollar. They come with the eye mask included. I just took it from up under the paper, pulled it out so you could see it and know that it's there. Kind of the way they have it is, is you almost don't even know probably until you open it. So, yes, you guys, this is the completed on that, except for that. So, I'm going to consider this done. So, the next one we're going to work on together is going to be this pink one. Okay. And the pieces I'm going to use for this is the pink robe. I already pulled this out, and I'm going to uh, kind of put a little piece of tape up under it. We're going to use the candy hard candy the iconic you can't find these nowhere i'm gonna use the family dollar five dollar rose bear it's supposed to imitate like roses it's not as defined as the ones at walmart but it'll it'll do what it need to do i'm gonna use the pink because i'm gonna pull out the hot pink because the bucket is of course hot pink so i'm gonna do that these house shoes are at Dollar Tree, uh, pink, gray. And if you got any of those gray robes, so you won't be struggling now like me, looking for these inexpensive slippers, count your robes and tie, get your house shoes before they all become extinct. Because I do believe the uh, gray, I think they have gray, black, came out for the, like their fall, winter. So maybe the mint green and the lighter colors will come back for spring. And I promise you, I'm going to count all my light uh, mint green pieces, robes, house shoe, whatever it is that I have this, um, that I may need these with. And I'm going to go ahead and stock up. That's really what I like to do. But, um, yeah, I ain't let my little stockpile go down some. Okay. But I, it, it's good because you need to flip the merchandise. You need to constantly be flipping your merchandise. So, you know how I build my buckets. I already put my six pieces of tissue paper that I get from U-Haul. And I built my base. And then I set my box on top. So, that way the box sits in there. But, that keeps it from shifting up under. And then, once you start putting weight on it, you don't want it to shift and go out of place. So, I also take a piece of tape for these and secure it down so that way see it's not coming out all right on this back um i put an extra little piece of shred across because it wasn't doing right but this this is the side i'm going to be using anyway so let's build this one right quick and it's like uh you know i need a little something else I don't know quite what my something else is, but I know I need something else. 
So what I like to do with my house shoes first off before I lock that in is I take a piece of plastic or cello and I stuff my house shoes so it looks nice and full. See, that's how it look now. That's how it looked before. So that way, presentation, you know, it looks like it's a nice full, you know, um, it's a nice full house shoe, you know. So, yeah, you want to do that if you can. That helps the product look full. <sighs> okay. Y'all, have you ever felt like you behind? This is what I felt like. I am behind because it's, I have some business things that I've been taking care of behind the scenes and still ripping and running in these streets. Like I said, these deals usually don't happen until like after, after Valentine's. So I don't usually have to have that wary. But baby, they got your girl out here ripping and running. So all I'm doing is, let's see. You see that? Okay, now with this one, I'm going to make sure that my house shoes is more like right there at the tip of the bucket versus with the other one, I set it up right up on top of the box. And the reason was, is I knew I was going to have something up under it. This one, I'm not. And then I'm just going to kind of angle. This is kind of the side view. Um the robe up a little more, so. Yeah, I truly did not know. And I'm gonna scoot it just a little. So, she, meaning the bear, could sit there and let me get some kisses. Uh, I'm gonna put some kisses in here. And these gonna have a little red cause I do have a little red, woo. Y'all, I'm on the hunt for some more of those and some I need some just for myself. Cause I, because I do this holiday, it is truly hard for me to kind of celebrate it with my significant other because I am always for every holiday pretty much we are working. But this year I said, so for me, even though I do the baskets and stuff. <laughs> What I end up doing <laughs> is we, you know, we really don't celebrate because we tired. You know, we be tired, girl. So I'm going to put a whole bag of kisses in there because <clears throat> it looked like it took a whole bag. And I'm going to put a little lid back on. So that's how that look. And I'm going to sit. So she's sitting like that. Now on the back, back here with the house shoes, is where I'm gonna add these pieces. Right here. Now I'm gonna also add a sponge. Oh, I got it. A sponge, these you can find at Dollar Tree as well. So you see I'm using I like to use a lot of, uh, you can use a lot of inexpensive fillers. Now, I can do it like this, which is what I like. So, now, there you go on that. So, you got your shower gel, your lotion, your spray. You got your bear with your chocolate. We have, I need to... Okay, there we go. Do this this way. Mm. 
I feel like I need a little something else. But <clears throat> but again, I, I try to make Bath & Body Works a little uh, more inexpensive than, Bath and, uh, than the Victoria's Secret ones. So I can have a price range in that. Plus, I do some um, inexpensive with like socks. Keep it real simple for a, a third way for them to purchase um, purchase those socks. So let's see, what do I have? And I'm just looking through my thing. Look, y'all. These, I, I had got this. I used some of these last year. Last year, I had picked these up. Now, what I could do is put this candle here, but I don't like how that sits in there. Hmm. I don't like that pink. And the reason, oh, I know what I'll do. Yeah. Okay, I have some of these little cute little lipsticks, matte. So I'm gonna put that right there. And give them a lip. And I got another one, so um, it's a four pack. Let me see. Yeah, it's a four pack, so I was gonna do something like that. Let's see, this don't really have nothing to do with, uh, okay. Now, I know you're saying, like, girl, well, why, why you just move that? Because, I don't know, it was not, I was not feeling it right there. And really what was supposed to go right there was the long handle. So that way, filling that little hole right there, this would have been sticking out and that would have been going through. But I like how that played out. So, and that's why it's important that you play with it for a little bit. So, yeah. Now, what I could do is just put me some cello there. I do like how that feels that and make that look a little full. So, and I want to keep adding more and more, just more and more things. I could put a tea light there, but if I put a candle there, I'm most definitely going to take the lipstick out. Because I try to make things make sense. You know what? Uh, what I could do is I have I think a pink lip scrub kit. Yep, there you go. And what it was is, is I think this one I made last year, it is a cute little, I did just a lip scrub with a, um, a lip applicator. And it is from Dollar Tree as well. And matter of fact, I'm gonna leave it in the tin. That way, okay. what I'm trying to cut off is this little. So that way, that ends that. I'm not going to wrap it on what's name, but I am going to show it to you right fast. My battery is getting low, and I don't want this to just cut off on you guys. So let me lock this in. 
and on the back it say smitten <laughs> that's cute so let's see how that goes so now kind of how i'm gonna do it is i'm gonna take that across there I guess I will have to take it out. That's gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. And what I'm gonna do is take them together. I be taking stuff together all the time, don't y'all? But that keeps it from shifting, especially when you're trying to make, you know, stand it up. So, there you go. That is done. And I was okay with breaking that down because I make that something else. So, we have created that lip to go with the lip scrub over here. So, we're going to have a pretty red lip. We got our shower gel, our lotion, our sponge, and then we're going to turn around. We have our bear and um, container of chocolate, chocolate kisses, and then we have our robe right here on the front. Now, only thing I need to do on the front is uh, add me a pink flower. Now, you don't have to have a flower in everything. Um, let me show you these. These are cute, too. Remember, I had these, and you could just sit that right in there that, you know, it gives, as a matter of fact, I like that better. You know, it puts that, um, what you call it? It puts the Valentine in the, you know, into the gift, even though I do have the wrapping paper, which is the hearts, okay? So, yeah, and then it adds that little pop of red that talks back to the red that's in the container, and then the red that's on the back. So, I hope this helps someone. You guys, I'm going to lock everything down. And this is it. Let me give you one more. Bear candy. We added that little felt heart on the back. We have this uh, bubble, bath, bubble bath lotion sponge. We have that matte lip. And we have the lip scrubber and the, the scrub for the lip scrubber. And that's a wrap, you guys. That's it for the pink. I showed you the green. Um, let me see. Do we have time to do the blue? Y'all want to try to do the blue? Let's try to do the blue. Uh, I'll be trying to show you options. So, the blue, we're going to use that blue pal, Dollar Tree. Let me see. Got to get it back. All right, y'all. Hold on. Ugh. Okay. Let's hope this don't... What's name? I'm going to be using this robe. This one also came from Dollar Tree. I'm not Dollar Tree. Family Dollar. I got this last year. It has like a cheetah print blue. Well, at City Trends, I had scored these. But I have also seen these at Burlington, TJ Maxx, um, and Marshalls. So, yeah, then we're going to use these from Bath and Body Works, Starlight. So, they pull out that kind of periwinkle or lavender look. So, let's see if we have time to build this. If my phone die, y'all, that means I'm just going to post what I got. <laughs> I'm going to be doing the same thing, I think, on this one, though. I'm going to be doing makeup. Um, I think I got a makeup palette um, that I'm going to do. And, uh, so, this is the one that I'm going to do with this. I even have, like, uh, so I might do the nail polish. That's why I love these sheets from 
That's why I love these sheets from New Home. It just helps me judge better. It makes me be able to recreate that nesting the exact same way because I'm using the exact same amount of pieces. I have, you know, been, I have, um, what is the word? Um, I won't say struggled. I have, well, I have. I have struggled sometimes with, you know, creep. Like, if I'm going to do this exactly the same, because I may not be able to build a base exactly the same, it, you know, based on if you store boxes, newspapers, whatever it is, because I do like to use boxes in mine, it helps me get, get a lot of the support that I need. Um, so, it, that, that part to me makes a big difference. What I'm looking for, y'all, is my blue. So, I'm going to use my blue shreds. And I'm looking for some blue paper. I do not. So, I do not have any, any more dark paper. So... Uh, you know my rule of thumb is I like to have my paper match my tote or it don't have to match the tote but my paper needs to match my shreds because that really makes a difference uh, in how much shreds you're using per container. You use more shreds when the paper and the shreds are not the same color because you're trying to cover the other color. Well, I, I could use a darker color but I promise you, it works so much better when you're actually using. Like, I know I'm needing blue. Um, and even though this is like a royal blue, I think I have a navy. So, I'm going to wait on this gift, you guys. Uh, I will be uploading, trying to do better, uploading, doing pictures, and putting them on my Instagram. But if somebody really want to see how the end result look on this particular basket, like I say... I, I'm gonna do it similar, the same way. It's gonna the the roll house shoes on the back, and then what I'm gonna do is this LA color makeup set is gonna go back here somewhere like that. It's gonna have house shoes like that, you know. And someone asked me about sizing. The, a lot of the, these house coats is one size fit all. Now, with Victoria's Secret, it does have, like, small, medium, and stuff like that. I try to take down where you can see it, and if not, I always tag it on the side in my gift so it's easier for my employees to be able to say, oh, this is a small, medium, or this is a large. The house shoes is usually small, medium to match the robes, okay? In this particular case, like, sometimes I use Kinsley, um this but i'm gonna take it out this time just to create height you know visually height but it's gonna be like this now but i'm going to i think i'm gonna cut that part off or i fold it back so you can actually see the kit then the other thing that i'm gonna have in there <clears throat> and these were at dollar tree um a while back these are just some cosmetic bags. You can recreate the same look. And I'm going to make sure that is in here. Somewhere like that, you know, in front of the gift. So the people can be able to see. So you got your little makeup. You got your cosmetic bag. And on this side is going to be this. The Bath and Body Works. And this. And then I have that pretty... This same like periwinkle blue, like the pink sponge, I have it in that pretty blue too. It's over there, of course. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna do, you guys. That will be the blue. Uh, and I will do two of them. I think this one is gonna have this makeup palette. And then I have, um, LA Colors Contour, Brow Contour. So I do that one with the other one. And it's brown. So if 
I gotta go through my stash a little more. If I come across something else, I find it. And if I didn't want to do that, I have these that came from Family. I think these was Family Dollar too. So, um, back in the day in my stockpile, and then I'm gonna do the nail dryer. So I can do, you know, one or the other, but most definitely these gotta get done today. So these is just showing you options. It don't have to be exact to this. This is what I have in my stockpile, but you can't, like, I know these are still at Family Dollar today. Um, I got these probably a year or so ago. So these may still be there, but if not, you can always find like an inexpensive, you know, kit. And right now you can go like soon as Burlington starts stocking up for their Valentine stuff and they will be, they have some kind of nail polish, little some, you can create the same little concept doing just that. I hope this has helped somebody again. I'm sorry about this, but I got to make it right. Cause I'm trying to get money. So I want to make it right for them. Uh, and I want to make it look right. Because like I say, if it don't look right to me, I know it don't look right to you. So, um, again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody who has the new subscribers. Everybody who's subscribing. We are on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. I'm so appreciative. Um, I will keep sharing as much as i can uh, and getting as much content out there at the same time trying to um most definitely get this stuff done because y'all it is countdown time at least for me it is at least 10 days maybe 12 before i go into the mall so the big big gifts got to get done the inexpensive gifts got to get done and i have a lot like i said i had a lot of men gifts left over so I'm good if I don't do nothing else. I'm good with me and stuff. I just, you know, spruce it up and make it look more Valentine-ish. Put some little, maybe some of these filled with chocolates on some of them. But um, in my brain, I have some men robes that I had got from CVS. So I really want to do a couple of them. Uh, I wanted to be able to do uh, like a Falcon's bucket for a man. Because they got some really good stuff at Family Dollar that you can do. Now they got the grilling stuff and all of that. So if you go to like Ross, um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx and stuff. And they still selling those gift sets. Like they usually have like that hot sauce set or the barbecue or the grilling or whatever. Girl, pick them up because those are perfect gifts. I think I'm going to do, if I can get to the robes, I know I'm going to get to them. It's just a matter of if I'm going to be able to record them because um, I might have to do it at the mall. But I'm going to do that robe, that men, a men's robe. I'm going to do like a popcorn concept movie night on the back of his. Um, I got some beer mugs from Dollar General for the penny sale as well as the brown dot sale. Um, so two might be done that way. Two might be done that way. Just like I'm doing these two, two, and two. That's all I'm going to do. Um, I did say I need to, I did say I need to show some kind of inexpensive, uh, idea. I'm going to try to make sure I get to that men's, um, uh, Dollar Tree had some of those gliding, gliding, um, t-shirts and underwear. I'm going to be doing that with some acts, and I'm going to call it today. So I will show you that one. I most definitely will show you that one. So I'm going to get off this phone before I die, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm going to be doing this next video right after my phone charge up. It's going to be the next top five uh, of 15 times six of the inexpensive Dollar Tree gift ideas. And that way, you guys, y'all can see, you know, the next one. Thank you, and you have a great day.